Good morning. Today is Friday, March 8th, 2013, and today's the day I'm going to assemble those Klingon head pieces. To begin with, I finally made a camera mount using a quarter-inch 20-thread nut to modify an extra phone case. Next, I cut up some tall aluminum cans for their sheet aluminum. I outlined the paper patterns onto the plastic and then started duct taping the aluminum shapes onto the cast. Each of the head ridges were made by making a diamond shape of aluminum scrap and then bending it into a little pyramid. The results are looking pretty good, but I just hope that the PVC doesn't stick to the duct tape. So now for the terrifying part of the experiment, the shaping of the plastic. We have here a plaster head, plastic sheet, scissors, pliers, and George Foreman grill so we can seal in the flavor without the fat. What's missing is a gas range in the well-ventilated kitchen and some oven mitts and even a second plaster head because one plaster head is going to have undercuts coming jetting out the front and back where ideally you would want one unadorned plaster head to assemble the three pieces together into one. To make a long story short, today's adventure didn't end that well. Cutting out plastic shapes is easy, but the real trick is shaping them by hand using nothing more than oven mitts and a gas range. And it's trickier still when you've got neither the oven mitts nor the gas range. So while you can substitute some winter gloves for the oven mitts, substituting a form and grill just doesn't cut it. I'll be taking another stab at it after the weekend, maybe with an acetylene torch. But in the meantime, this is Joel Twisty Nye wishing you happy trails. See you next week.